Hi, I'm Lee Whitwell, pro pickleball player and coach, and welcome to my YouTube page. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to track the ball, and there's two ways we're going to track the ball and pick a ball. One is with our paddle, and that's secondary. The primary way we're going to track the ball is using our eyeballs. A lot of the things that we do on the pickleball court is we watch the entire person hit the ball, and by the time we pick up the ball, it's already crossing the net, and then we get into a reactive mode. One of the things mode. I want you to do is when the ball hits your paddle, I want you to say, see. see. And when the ball hits my paddle, I want you to say, look. So in the rally, I should be hearing, see, look, see, look, see, look. Okay, now if you can keep up with that cadence, you are tracking the ball. If at any point in time that falters, either you had a mental slip or it got too advanced, okay. right? So most of the times it's that we had a mental slip and we stopped focusing on tracking the ball and we watched the person. Let's give it a shot. See. See, See it when I'm hitting it. There you go. See. Look. See. Look. See. And look. see. And look and see. And look and see. And look. I win. So one of the biggest things that we can do to improve our game and to help us have the illusion of more time on the court is see our contact points. Can I see my contact point? Can I see your contact point? Tell me what point? color that paddle was. Did you see the ball hit the paddle? Did you see the ball hit your paddle? That's all I care about. I don't care if they had matching hats. I don't care that their shoelaces were untied. I don't care if one sock was up higher than the other or what was going on. That was way too much focus you were putting on them as a body. All you care about is what hand are they holding the paddle in and is that paddle making contact with the ball? The rest of it is irrelevant. Wow. So when we're at the back of the court, nothing changes. We're still doing a look-see, right? The further and distance see, we are, the look-sees look, are and slower, and look, right? Because there's more see, distance for the ball look, to travel. The closer we get, they get faster. Look, when people speed see, up the ball and, and there's look, no bounce and, and it's a volley, see. the look-see becomes fast. The key things I need you to take away, you know, not I want, I need you to take these away because if you can take these away, you can work on them is are you seeing your contact point, right? There's your C. Are you constantly seeing your contact point? How often can you see your contact point, right? No, normally when I first start warming up, the first 30 seconds of me dinking, I just care about the C. I'm, I'm seeing the ball hit my paddle. Once I've got that dialed in, now I'm gonna care about the look. I'm looking at my opponent hit the ball, not my opponent, sorry. I'm looking at the ball hitting my opponent's paddle. So then I'm going see and look and see and look and see and look and see and look or see, look, see, look if the ball's not bouncing. But I'm constantly focusing on that because that, when it comes down to it, that is all I care about. I don't care if you're hitting a cartwheel right before you hit the ball. If I'm watching you hit, do a cartwheel, I'm not watching you hit the ball. I'm not seeing that ball hit your paddle. I need to look for the ball to make contact with your paddle. If I can see it, I can pick it up and I can track it. Okay, and that was a very long-winded way of me saying, see your contact point, see your opponent's contact point. For more pickleball tips and skills and drills and things you didn't know you needed to know, please like and subscribe my page.